Cars such as the Ford Mondeo face increasing competition from crossovers, compact SUVs and MPVs for a slice of the family car market. But that's not the only issue facing the new Ford Mondeo. This is a car that should have been here almost three years ago. Ford moved production from Belgium to Spain and the knock-on effect was a car that should have been launched in 2012, actually only went on sale in Ireland very recently. So is the new Ford Mondeo good enough not only to fend off rivals but also to make up for lost time? The new Mondeo is not radically different from the previous version, but it now sports the new Aston Martin lookalike front grille. It is sculptured and sophisticated from every angle, and it sits lower than the outgoing model, which only enhances the coupe profile. Inside, the changes are immediately apparent, and the Mondeo is stylish and smart, but some of the quality of the materials and fittings feel a little on the cheap side. Space is very good throughout, and particularly in the rear, where there's more than enough room for three adults. At 550 litres, the boot is good, and it's particularly useful as it's very well shaped. There's a lot of new technology found in the Mondeo, including the new Ford Sync system which allows for voice control of the sat-nav, radio, phone and aircon. The Ford Mondeo has always been targeted at keen drivers and this version is no different. It handles very nicely, it grips the road well and the steering is very well weighted. On top of that, changes to the suspension have meant that road noise is kept to a minimum and also they've improved the soundproofing and it means that tyre and wind noise is really, really reduced. There's two trims to choose from on the Mondeo. There's the ZTEX and the Titanium. Now, the ZTEX starts at 28,995 and the Titanium at 31,495, but they're very well specced even at standard model. The standard model comes with 16-inch alloy wheels, front fog lights, daytime running lights, the Ford Sync system, and also cruise control. This, our test car, is the titanium model, so you get things like the 17-inch alloy wheels, you get this chrome line, automatic lights and wipers, and you also get parking sensors front and rear. Now, our test car is also fitted with a winter pack and a rear spoiler, so that brings the price to 32,125. Powering our test car is a 1.6 diesel and it is the one to go for in terms of fuel economy and for tax efficiency. It has 115 bhp and only 109 in terms of grams of CO2 emission. It also returns 67 miles per gallon, that's 4.2 litres per 100. Now it will be the volume seller for the Ford Mondeo. But for me, it's slightly underpowered. I'd much rather go for the 2-litre. The 2-litre gives you 150 bhp, and yet CO2 emissions are only 115, so there's not much of a penalty there. Now, if you don't fancy diesel at all, there is a 1.5 petrol to choose from, the EcoBoost, and that has 160 bhp, so it's actually the most powerful in the range, but it also comes with 137 grams of CO2 emission. The Ford Mondeo is a really good blend of comfort, economy and performance and it has unrivaled handling and driving dynamics. But how does it compare with rivals? Well, there are certainly rivals out there that are more economical and there are those with classier interiors, but there are also those that are more expensive. And while you cannot please all of the people all of the time, Ford have certainly come close with this new Mondeo. Gerling Herbert for independent.ie